Pastor Sajid Enrique, Rejoice Ministries International, preaching at Pastor David Goons, Jerusalem Center, Medford, Oregon, USA. Nothing to do with me. 
Amen? Amen. I should break this jar today. Yes. Amen? Yes. Well, if I, if I ask you and you would also say, what is the most expensive thing in your life? I don't think so you are going to name a car. I don't think so you are going to name a beautiful house. But there, uh, but there is heart. You know heart? That's a very expensive thing. You don't want to let anybody come into your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't, you don't. Even Jesus says, I knock at your door, at your heart door. So it means it is the most expensive thing in your body. You know, so when, when this heart is broken, that is a real work of Jesus Christ. Now this lady thought, my heart is broken. Now what is the use of this alabaster jar? You got me? You got the point what I'm trying to do. So there is nothing, you know, like too expensive when your heart is broken. So her heart is broken. She knew it is divine power. She knew that my life is changed today because she started weeping. She started weeping and she drew near to Jesus and she felt something really different and she breaks the jar. Amen? It also means she breaks, she makes an end. She, she said, that's an end of my bad life, my previous life. Yes. That's an end. That's yes. a sign. Yes. I'm going to finish that. Yes. It can be your drugs. I don't know. If you're taking a lot of drugs, it can be. Amen. I believe there's nobody taking, but it can be. Lord is taking drugs. It can be an end when you draw near to Jesus. Amen. And it can be an end of your habit. I don't know what are the habits. Maybe, maybe there are some dirty, bad habits that we continually keeping even we are coming to, 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 to church daily or every Sunday but still it is happening guys folks I want to tell you today is an end of end. everything that you are belonging from your past it's an end as we go through the Bible that this lady is there she is carrying a heavy and expensive jar of alabaster it, it cost a full year wages but she breaks the jar in front of Jesus amen whenever in the Bible if you go through the Bible uh, things are broken really something happened if you go gone through the book of Judges you see there was pictures 300 pictures am I right speaking the word pictures that was a picture right so 300 pictures and Gideon said uh, uh, break them when I say at once we break yeah. as soon they broke those 300 pictures there was a mighty sound in that valley and enemy ran away yeah. why because something was broken there something was broken there and as soon the pictures broke there was light you know torches you know shone and enemy saw a lot of torches and they could not count how many they are they were at, at, in fact, there were 300, but they thought, oh, too much. We cannot face these torches. Amen? Amen. So when you, when you break your heart, the light of Jesus come upon. Come, come up. Am I right? Yeah. Then enemies scare from you. I tell you. Enemies scare from you as it is happened uh, in the book of Judges. Enemy ran away. This girl, this lady, she breaks an expensive jar, and that's the end of her life. She could have prayed a lot of time. She could have gone to the religious leader before. Can you help me with this dirty habit? But nobody can. Religion cannot help you. Amen. Or it can help you. Amen. No. Amen. Religion is itself a huge power. A big power that we need to break. Amen. We need Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes. We need yes. Jesus. And Jesus breaks all the yoke. Even if it is a result of religion. Yes. He can break all the yoke. Yes. So we see this girl, this lady come near to Jesus and she breaks the jar and that's an end of her life. But I, I have something else as well from this passage that I love the most. You know, Jesus said, she has done a beautiful job. Wow. Mm. Yes, amen. Isn't, that, isn't that amazing? Yes, she has done a beautiful job. Now, everybody's thinking she must be rebuked. She must be accused. Yes. It's you. You bad lady, you dirty, but Jesus said a beautiful job. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Why? Because her heart is broken now. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, yeah. and Jesus is there to forgive. 
And that's, that's the work of Jesus. He does today the same. Yes. We, we, our thoughts are really bad. We know somebody is doing some drugs, and it is in our, in our mind all the time. But when somebody comes to Jesus, when he is forgiving them, who we are. So he is forgiving her, and he says to the others, she has done a beautiful, she has done a beautiful thing to me. Why? Jesus always loved when somebody is caring about his crucifixion. When somebody is talking about the crucifixion. When somebody is preparing for his body for the burial. Amen? Amen? Amen. So she is doing something divine. She has broken the jar and now she's applying that perfume, the heavy, the, the, the expensive perfume on the body of Jesus and she is preparing the body for the burial. In, in one sense, she is standing with Jesus for this journey of crucifixion. All right? But we are the disciples. It should be done by disciples. We are the disciples. Have you ever noticed what disciples are doing in the Garden of Gethsemane? What disciples are doing here? They are under the huge religious power. They are saying, oh, look at this girl. Look at this, what she's doing. Oh, my God. So they, they must be preparing Jesus' body for the burial, but they are not doing it. They are eating, enjoying the party. And they are, on, on night time, they are sleeping. So every time you see these disciples are having in, in the control of the well, uh, worldly things. But there is this girl, this lady, that came there for other purpose, but today is an end of her life. Her, her bad life, her previous life, her past life, and she is there to accept Jesus. And it yes. says on verse number four, yes. some of those present were saying indignantly to one another, why this waste of perfume? Wait. Look, yes. what is their point? Why this waste of perfume? Wow. Today you see a lot of people even condemn and they accuse a lot of time and you're standing with Jesus, they have all, all this stuff to say mm -hmm. and then it could have been sold for more than a year's wages and the money given to the poor. Yeah. This is their thought. Can you finish the poverty by paying? Can you answer me? No. 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 Even Jesus said, the poor are always with you. Okay? So you shouldn't pray daily, Father, please remove poverty. It has been told in the Bible. They will be there with you. So don't worry about the poor. Today is the time for Jesus to prepare his body for the burial. That's what she did, but disciples didn't do that. So they are, they, they are taking a lot of things. They are talking bad things about her. But Jesus is there. And he says, it could have been sold for more than a year wages. And the money given to the poor. And they rebuked her harshly. Look at their son. They are rebuking the girl. And now their Jesus come. Leave her alone. Amen. Can you say to those. Leave me alone. Yes. Yes. Those who rebuke you. Stop you say. Leave me alone. Amen. Yeah you should, you should say. You should say. Or even the, the devil come and whisper in your ear. Leave me alone. Get away from me. Leave me alone. I'm okay. So this is what she does. And Jesus is there to save her. Leave her alone, said Jesus. Why are you bothering her? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will have always with you. And you can help them anytime you want. But you will not always help me. Now this is the point. Jesus wants you to care for Jesus as Jesus is near. You know in the, in the book of Jeremiah it is written somewhere. Call upon God as he is near. You got me? So as he is near, you call upon to him. He was near to uh, the lady heart. Jesus is near. So she called upon Jesus and Jesus helped her. And this is what happened when the Peter started walking on the, on the, uh, on the lake. And Jesus said, okay, come on. And he started walking on the lake. Start, uh, suddenly he started shrinking down. He was going down and he called upon Jesus and he holding. Amen? Amen? He holds you when you are calling and when you are connected. Keep in mind when you are even connected with Jesus still you can draw on. 
As happened with Peter. Okay? But thanks God. And you should also be thankful that at least you are in connection with Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Jesus was very near. It's good. He's near and you are drawing down. Oh, Jesus help me. He will, he will help you. But it's very bad if Jesus is not near. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Amen. It's very bad. Yes, it Maybe you, you, won't, you won't be helped by him. But it is good if it is he's near. And then you're joining. Sometimes, you know, happens. The ear pressure is so much. The wind is so much. You just get, you know, uh, your, your eyes are not on Jesus at that moment. But you start going down. But you call upon Jesus. And here, they, here he is to save. Amen? Amen. So she has done a beautiful thing. And she is preparing for the burial. Paul, Paul says... If Jesus has been not risen, uh, there's no use of this gospel. So the gospel is all about crucifixion. The gospel is all about risen Christ. Amen? Amen. So this is a powerful message. And she is, in fact, going with that message. She started preparing this body, this beautiful body that is going through the crucifixion. After a few days, this body is going to be you know, broken badly. This body is going to be uh, wounded for her, her sin. And she knew it. She got this revelation. As soon as she drew near to Jesus, she got this all, uh, you know, revelation. And she broke the jar. And she said, that's the end of my life. Now this jar, this heavy perfume is only for Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We see, Jesus says them, leave her alone, and Jesus is there for her. And she did what she could. She poured perfume on my body beforehand to, her, to prepare for my body. I tell you the truth, wherever the gospel is preached, this is an honor. Wherever the gospel is preached, throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Wow. You see, you see a lot of bad people yes. turn and their their history we find in this beautiful book, Bible. Amen? Yes. Yes. Why don't you, you leave a legacy behind? Yes. Why don't you, you you start walking with this beautiful Jesus? Yes. Why don't you you break that perfume? Yes. You know? Yes. That perfume, it shouldn't be in your pocket anymore. Yes. It should be broken. Yes. You know, she has done a beautiful thing. Yes. This is the beautiful word I like to do for myself. It starts from here and then it goes to you. Yes. So, this is a beautiful thing that Jesus says for you. Hallelujah! Yes. 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 Your dress doesn't match with the revelation of the Bible, with the revelation of God. She got to that revelation. Amen? Yes. This is what happened. When we, 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 we accept Jesus, we come out of the darkness and we are in life. That's what happened to this lady. She came in her, herself. But as soon as she draw near to Jesus, darkness removes. And then she started understanding about Jesus, about the burial, about the crucifixion, about the risen Christ. Amen. 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 That's a great revelation, God. So we need to break today something, okay? Everybody knows what is that thing. Today, the most expensive in your pocket, in your, in your heart, in your body. You have to break today, and that's an end. That's an end. No more. No more. You have to hold this Jesus fully as she did. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. 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 When in Pakistan anybody shouts, the foreigner comes, or even the native Say hallelujah, we shout more hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah!